All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the self-developed YouTube channel. You beautiful people, as always, comment below, hashtag self-developed army, and let's get this video going. So guys, with that said, straight to it. In today's video, I titled it, or believe I titled it, right? You guys love when I say that because sometimes I get the title slightly off, I guess, and it's close to it, but it's not 100%, so that's why I say that. Anyways, guys, in today's video, I titled it, How to Overcome Sexual Desire, okay, guys? Now, first and foremost, there is nothing wrong with sexual desire. I'm jumping straight into it, guys. I need to make this very clear. Um, a lot of times in the manosphere, or really many things in life, you know, religion, philosophies, if you take it out of context you will believe that sexual desire is uh, completely satanic. There's something wrong with it. It is bad. It makes you evil as a human being. And again, in certain contexts, that may be true, but sexual desire in and of itself, like if I just take it completely out of all ideologies, whatever it may be, and just look at it as objectively and neutrally as I can, there's nothing wrong with it. That's like saying there's something wrong with anger, or wrong with happiness, or wrong with fear. These are all emotions, guys. They're naturally going to happen. And you beating yourself up and, I don't know, just thinking it's horrible, trust me, will do you no good. Like, you're going to beat yourself up for nothing. That's kind of like being upset that you're a human being. You, you, like, you can't control it, buddy. Like, it, <laughs> I'm a human. What am I going to do? You understand? So it's futile. And here's what what to do instead. So instead, guys, right, how to overcome sexual desire. Now, the reason I make this, right, because you may think, well, David, if you just said there's nothing wrong with sexual desire, then why are you making a video on how to overcome it? Well, because now let's give it context. When sexual desire as a man, right, as a man particularly, guys, we have two heads, our logical head and our root head, our sacral head, our, our nutsack, you could say, right, our sexual head. Um, as men, especially in our overstimulated society today where sex is so glorified, Oh my goodness, guys, like 50 years ago, 60, 70, 80 years ago, I mean, all throughout history, <sighs> sex was so much more sacred where now it is kind of advertised like fucking cheap pancakes. You know, you just go to a little pancake stand. It's like one for you, one for you, one for you. It's uh, there's no value in it. And it is so easy to be overtaken by it. And that's the entire reason our society has built this system where it's very easy. There's reasons for this, guys. Because when it's easy, you know, you can make wrong decisions. And that's exactly where this video comes into play. The reason I say how to overcome sexual desire, and the reason a lot of religions or philosophies, they don't demonize it per se, but they say, you know, all of them, they say, watch out, you know, lust is one of the seven deadly sins, is because of what it can do to you. Because these men, right, these religions, these philosophies, whatever it may be, they understood how powerful this is, and when used incorrectly, Oh man, it can really fuck you up. It's kind of like when you're playing with fire, you know? If you guys open one of those chemical boxes, I don't know, maybe you're cleaning your clothes like bleach or whatever it is, which by the way, I just fucking ruined two of my clothing because of goddamn bleach, right? I wish I knew this shit beforehand. It's kind of a perfect example. Sexual desire can be like bleach, okay guys? Can it work for certain things? Yes, but if you don't know how to use it, it can ruin everything. It can ruin your clothes, it can ruin your walls, your skin, everything. It can really fuck things up and I, I literally have to throw like two of my beautiful edge clothing out now. I'm so upset about that. But it is what it is. We need to properly learn how to utilize this, how to properly harness it. And it's the same thing with sexual energy, guys. There's nothing wrong with it in and of itself. But if you don't know how to use the fire, the bleach, the cleaning detergent, whatever it may be, dude, it can cause havoc. You guys have seen those aerosol cans. It's like, do not, <laughs> do not light. This is extremely flammable. Do you understand? I know I'm using a bunch of maybe silly, kind of weird, irrelevant examples, but that's a perfect example, guys. There's nothing wrong with hairspray in and of itself, but if you don't know that it can do certain things, then you really have to be careful. And the saddest part is, guys, is you find out when it's too late. What I mean by this is you now get a girl pregnant. You have to raise a child for the next 18 years of your life and lose a bunch of money. Maybe you're in a relationship that is now abusive, it's not for you, and because of sexual desire, it completely overtook you. It stained your clothes. And by the way, when you stain your clothes with bleach, it's permanent. <laughs> I try to get it out, it's permanent. When you have a child, that's permanent. When you marry a woman that was not for you, but you were completely overtaken by that sexual head, that's pretty much fucking permanent, guys. This is why we have to overcome it. It's not ignoring it, it's not never using bleach, but it's knowing, okay, I need to put on gloves, I need to wear clothes that I don't give a fuck about in case anything happens. That's sexual desire. Let's just learn how to harness this beast, this lion. Because if not, it can use us. And if it does, sometimes the uh, problems are catastrophic. So, with all that said, <laughs> you can tell I'm burning off some of the energy from that. But it is what it is. You know, acceptance in and of itself. 
We're all gonna make mistakes, guys. I need to make that very clear, okay? With your sexual energy, with everything. And that's kind of why I alluded to at the beginning of the video, I prefaced it. Go easy on yourself, man, okay? I'm gonna help you guys out in this video, but make no mistake, I am going to make mistakes, 1,000%. You're gonna make mistakes, 1,000%. It's going to happen. So please, it's a delicate balance. We're gonna learn how to overcome this, how to integrate with it, but understand you're still gonna make mistakes, okay? We're human. You're born a sinner. I didn't know how to use bleach. It is what it is, now I know. So guys, with that said, the answer on how to overcome sexual desire is really through one thing. Right? The way to overcome your lower head is through story. Now story, David, what do you mean? Are you saying I gotta read a kid's book or something like that to tame my sexual desire? Not necessarily, but what you guys need to keep in mind is that all religion, all philosophy, these are what? In essence, they're stories, they're beliefs, they're ideas, right? Like I alluded to, we as men have two heads. We have our logical head and we have our sexual head. The only way to overcome our sexual head is through repetition of our logical head, right? This is why we as men have a logical head. Because if we didn't, we would be no different than animals, right? Animals just be fucking all the time. You know, there's no morality with it. You know, so many people say, David, you know, have sex with as many people as you want. We're all animals. And that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. We're not the same as animals. I'm not a fucking cow. I'm not a pig. I'm not a dog. We are human beings. We have intellect. We have a neocortex. We can communicate. We can think in the future, think in the past. We can articulate ideas, create religions, philosophies, empires, societies, inventions, goddamn iPhones. Can a cow do this? No, don't use the example that we're animals. Yes, we are animals but we are much more evolved. And the reason we're more evolved is because of our neocortex, because of our logical head. The only way you will be able to overcome sexual desire is through story. And what do I mean by this? Let me get very particular. What story are you talking about? Guys, this is one of the biggest reasons I have embarked into spirituality, but really more so religion. Because religion in and of itself, all it is is a story, okay? Now, whether you guys believe that what happened in religion was you know, historical or not, that's completely up to you. But at the end of the day, it's a story, guys. Everything is a story, right? Whether something is real or not. I mean, you think of Martin Luther King, you know, what he did or what any of the greats did. When you tell this to individuals, you're telling a story. You understand? When you watch a movie, you are what? You're, 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 you're watching a story. When you read a book, it's a story. You understand? It's all one of the same thing. And what can these stories do to us? What do they do to us? Create certain beliefs. What do beliefs do? Create certain actions. Right? How many of you guys have seen the movie Game Changers, right? It was a vegan movie that came out maybe like, I don't know, a couple years ago, and it went viral. It went viral. So many people uh, went vegan because of it, like tons of interviews on Joe Rogan. It was ridiculous. It was huge. That movie, right, story, created certain beliefs in individuals, which is now their entire paradigm of action. They're complete vegans and will not go back, probably thousands of individuals, because of that story. Do not ever undermine the power of logical story. Our society will tell you that, you know, they'll do everything they possibly can to throw that away because they want you to be locked just in your sexual head. And the problem with that, guys, is like I said, you can make very poor decisions. If you listen just to your sexual head, that's kind of like listening to a three-year-old, right? You don't want a three-year-old to dictate where you go <laughs> with your entire life. You understand? Right? There's a hierarchy, guys. There's a reason it's lower in our body. You understand? There's a reason we stand tall. This is another reason, too. Human beings stand the way we do. We're kind of like antennas, right? We have an intellect. This is a bit more spiritual or philosophical, but we have different chakras in our body, right? Our crown chakra is above our head. You understand? Our most basic chakra at the bottom, right, is our root chakra. That's with security. That's with safety. Our sexual chakra is just above that. And again, in that region. We need hierarchy, we need story, we need logic. That is the only way you will overcome it. And what I like to partake in is the story of religion. Because in religion, it is very clear to me that fornication and having sex with just as many women as you want is a very bad thing. Whether that's true or not, it doesn't matter. It does, guys, stories do not matter if they're true or not, right? Game changers, I saw the movie, I'm not vegan. That story didn't click with me, it didn't, it didn't catch me. But it will catch other individuals right? doesn't matter whether a story is for everyone or not. You need to choose a story that is appropriate and that sits well with you, right? This is what all religions are, and this is why individuals like different religions. I mean, this is why you should get into a religion. I hope you're not forced into it when you're a child. You should come to it because you realize this is able to help me through the virtue, through the story, through the understanding of 
what is right and wrong in my life? Virtue, moral, it's all one and the same thing, guys. It's objectivity, it's rule book, it's a guide. Without it, we get completely sunken down into our, uh, our sexual head and all hell breaks loose. There is no objectivity, there is no clear definitive yes and no. You can do whatever you want, get as many girls pregnant as you want, degenerate our society as far down as you want, and uh, you know make things not the best for you. But understand that even that is a story. And we believe different stories. Do you see how I believe that now is my paradigm? Because of the amount of times I've told myself this. This is how we reprogram our subconscious mind. I truly believe, and I do through my actions, that promiscuous sex and just hooking up with as many girls as you can is, is satanic. That's bad. This is my paradigm through my belief, right? Religion has definitely helped, but we choose and create our own beliefs, right? So just choose beliefs that help you. I'm not even saying this belief is the one end-all belief. Some of you guys will have beliefs saying that, you know, sex is amazing, we should do as much as we want. Okay, that's, that's your belief. But just see the fruits of the labor. Like, where is it getting you? And I mean, that's how we justify or are really able to calculate the benefit of any belief. What are the fruits of it, right? If I eat junk food every single day and I believe that that's a good thing through my logical head, okay, but what are the results, right? Are you fat, overweight, you're fucking clog clogged up arteries, man, almost have, almost have a heart attack? That's not great. Those results aren't good. This is how we change our beliefs. So what I'm saying, guys, because I know I went on an entire tangent here, is the way to change any belief or any action, which a lot of times is subconscious, it is just, it is almost like that sexual head, it just happens without you thinking, it's automatic, is through our stories. I know this isn't the video that some of you guys want to hear. You want to hear just some quick tip or hack to never feel horny again, but that's not going to happen, buddy. But what you can do is you can begin to program yourself into believing certain things so that when things act up, you know beforehand the rule book. You know the guide. You have done your research on how to properly use bleach beforehand. So when you do use bleach, because you will use bleach, you will get horny, you at least understand what's going on and where to properly order it in the hierarchy. Maybe you don't need to use bleach for these clothes, <laughs> right? Maybe laundry detergent's fine. Maybe just water and soap is fine but know that through this. And so guys, that is the end of the video. I know this one was a bit more philosophical, spiritual, as well as practical. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'll finish the video here, guys, on the final plugs. If you guys would like to work with me on a personal level at anything of what we talked about in this video, overcoming your sexual desire, mastering it, maybe through practices like nofap, semen attention, or increasing your value and masculinity as a man to improve your relationships or dominate your fitness and business, guys, there is always one-on-one -on -one coaching spots are open come join the tribe we have group coaching which is the workshop for one hour live stream calls with myself a small group of men and a private facebook group we speak of topics just like this much more in depth and it is cheaper than one-on-one -on -one coaching and finally the cheapest option we've got our course guys you know what's up it speaks of everything on how to improve your life as a man in an over three hour long course guys go download the free half an hour version below to get yourself a teaser see if you like it before getting the full one and i'll finish it there guys you can support edge let's go baby Fun fact, I'm actually going and flying out to Austin, Texas to do a photo shoot with Edge tomorrow, which will be pretty dope. So that's why I'm recording these videos ahead of time because I'm going to be in Austin, hopefully getting a lot more tan because <laughs> here in Canada, it's, it's, you know, it's obviously not that warm out. It's not that sunny yet, but uh, hopefully in due time. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Have an amazing day. Find and choose certain stories that you resonate with, right? It doesn't matter what story it is. It doesn't matter what religion it is. It doesn't matter what philosophy it is, guys. We follow different stories at different times in our life. I've tried so many different diets. I've been more or less vegan for like eight months. It was called pescatarian. I've been almost carnivore. I've tried so many different things, guys. We need to find and choose certain stories that are creating good objective benefits in our lives. And then we adapt because we're always learning, guys, right? Like I said, we're all gonna make mistakes. It's okay, it happens. Let's keep learning, let's keep adapting and using logic to change our lives. Thank you guys, have an amazing day. Catch you next video. With that, much love. Peace.